Nope, we're gonna need another method. To be perfectly honest, I've never done this before. I'm gonna try to limp it to that mechanic, babe. The chain just bounced off. Oh, hold on. My finger's caught. Boxes are defeated. Purpose always These leads. are the tails of Boab. We are now installing a brand new drivetrain, which is essentially everything that connects the engine to the propeller, including the shaft seal, which keeps the water out of the boat. In our case, we're gonna use the dripless stuffing box. Also includes the cutlass bearing, which is where we're gonna start this whole process. They go past me, I see the last me, that I ever will be. That got me asking, if living this lightning, is that been the right thing? Should I've been a little bit more focused on the place that my feet needed to go and as they go past me, I see the last me. Okay, we have all the set pins that we need on the boat. They're all different sizes, which is a little strange, but they do each correspond to a hole in the strut. And the problem is only one of those holes was already threaded. So we had to go get some thread taps from the Ferreteria. To be perfectly honest, I've never done this before. If, wanted to go. if I die right now, I'd lie, I'd have a few regrets. I just spent more time out biking instead of smoking cigarettes. Wish I worked more on music instead of alternating steps. Probably should have talked more to people I thought were interesting as hell. Probably should have gotten closer to my mom's after Pops drawn out of death. Okay, we're just drilling in a little tiny bit. We wanna make sure we don't go too far into this cutlass bearing, just to give that set screw something to bite into. Sometimes I wonder if I felt more at home my own skin Instead of always feeling fake with my genuine moments Stop feeling off and out of place And my smile seems strange I walk like I'm trying on a wig Or a mask, or a laugh, or a face we ordered a maintenance kit for our packless sealing system, PSS um, shaft seal that goes with the prop shaft. And what we're doing right now, so it, I mean, it kind of goes together like this. I'll show you a bit more in detail later. What we're doing right now is replacing the O-rings that go inside this uh, stainless shaft collar. Ah, got it. Okay, new O-rings. So this end attaches to the boat right here, and we've already got a handy rubber collar on here that's gonna ensure we'll put it on the correct amount, you know, the right amount of spacing so we can tighten it in the correct spot. All right, there it is. Is it coming out yet? Uh, not yet. Keep going. There it is. Whoa. Go back. Uh, no, you're good right there. Maybe even a little bit further. Okay. Good. Okay. I'm gonna get the stainless piece on. I hope. Oh. Is that pretty rough? Yeah, I'm so nervous about these O-rings, but it's also like... Really... Didn't you want to use some Dawn soap? Wasn't that... Oh yeah, grab some soap. Let's try that. <laughs> See that, baby? Ooh, let's try it. <laughs> Do you want me to just squirt it inside of it? Um, no, on my hand, and then I can, okay. you know... And I thought you'd put it on the O-rings, too. I will. I just want to apply it a little bit. Precisely, maybe. Don't know if this will help us put it on the coupler or not. No, we'll probably want to wipe that off and put on the anti seize. Okay. Oh. Okay, got the first O ring in, which they're called being the easy part. Now, oh, okay. 
got the second one. Good call on the soap. Now we're ready to try to get the coupler on, right? Right. That's gonna be tough, but. That's gonna be interesting. Not that much. Maybe. Who knows? Okay. Can you see what I'm doing? Uh huh. Sweet. Okay, push. Oh, hold on. What happened? My finger is caught. Okay, push. More? Uh, yeah. No. Oh. Okay. Um. This is a little tricky, but I think you've got to go more. Ready? Yeah. <sighs> nope, we're gonna need another method. Okay. I almost pushed a hole through my hand. All right, don't do that. Rubber mallet time. Good! Really? Yep. Hey! Sometimes I wonder if I felt more at home my own skin Instead of always feeling fake But my genuine moments stop feeling off and out of place And my smile seems strange I walk like I'm trying on a wig Or a mask Or a laugh Or a face Or a faith in my place in this path But so I'm trying to change that And live inside the moment, not the past See the present unwrapped Cause the moment's all we have Till it's gone I'm just waiting hoping the next one go last A little longer than the one before Cause there's only so many I can grab But they all start slipping out of hand We've been wrestling with this, uh, this, this bolt, nut, um, and coupler for a while, trying all different things. The problem is this bolt is too long. We have very little clearance. We have these hoses that, that run down and through the transmission, um, and water runs through it, and there's just very little, little clearance. So uh, this, this nut, when it's on the other side, it doesn't allow... The, it doesn't allow the prop shaft to spin. It hits the hoses either way. Even when you take the nut off and just put the bolt through, the bolt is too long and it'll hit on either side. The good news is on the side, on the transmission side, it's threaded. So where the coupler connects, it's threaded. What we've figured out for now is we're putting the nut on the bolt. Um, and this seems to, to work. Well, I can't even get this thing on here. What the heck? Uh, must have some stuff in it. So we're putting the nut on the bolt. Fast forward. And, and so we all, and by the way, we also tried to get the bolt to come in through the other side. Um, but if there's not enough room, the bolt is too long. You can't, there, there's no way to thread it without I don't, I, it just won't fit. We have to slice the, the bolt maybe, and that could be an option. But right now we're just getting the nut all the way to the end. And then we're getting this, uh, it's just a self tightening washer. And then from here, we're just threading that in and tightening it as tight as we can. And this just barely sticks out on the other end. And that gives us enough clearance so that the prop shaft will be able to spin without hitting these hoses that are coming out here. So these are the hoses here. See, we got this hose coming in, comes in right here and comes out this side here. And it doesn't give you much room here. I mean, I can't even get my finger in between here. So as it is right now, we can clear all the way around, tighten these down and uh, lock these in. That's gonna work for now. Maybe we'll find a better way. Okay, these were the bolts that were on our old coupler and you can see they've got two of the locking washers backed up against the head of the bolt. And it's been a while since we removed it, but we're not finding any nuts and we would have saved those with the coupler. We kept everything together. So as near as we can figure, this was the original setup. Now this bolt is slightly shorter than the ones that came with our new coupler. So that's probably making a difference as well, which is why we're putting the nut against the head of the new bolt. 
I don't know. I think this is how it was. It's what we're going with. We're looking at the shaft seal on the shaft attached to the coupler, attached to the transmission right now. And I've actually got it all spread out because what we're about to do is get the appropriate tension on these bellows because as we talked about before, this piece right here, this is a carbon piece and the stainless piece, the compression of these two up against one another like that, that forms the seal that doesn't let water into the boat. So this whole thing is, is letting water into the shaft seal area, lo lubricating the shaft, and it has a little vent right here that hooks up to a hose that we take above the water line um, and that prevents water from coming in as well, but allows the system to vent. I think that's about right. They're touching, there's not a lot of force there, so we're gonna make a mark on the shaft with this Sharpie. And for the diameter of shaft that we have, it's a one inch shaft, we need to compress this three quarters of an inch down with these bellows. There's a little bit of a spring action there, but I'm gonna need to get some set pins to hold that in place. Okay, I'm just gonna thread this in. I'm not gonna tighten them down until they're in position. I just wanna get them ready. So what we're probably gonna do is a little guess and check, uh, pull it down, eye it, tighten it, and then measure and see how close we are and how much we need to adjust. So, what does that look like? That looks about three quarters. Okay. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty much right. All right. It's worth mentioning if you're ever taking one of these apart, it's actually a set screw on top of a set screw. So if you get the first one out and you're wondering why the heck it's not coming out, that's because there's another one down in there. And now it gets the hose again. So this little baby just screws in here. Okay, so we're trying to figure out which way to put it on and I remembered reading something about the leading edge of a propeller being a more obtuse angle whereas the tailing edge is more acute, it's sharper. So that means it goes on like this. That got me asking if giving this lightly is that been the right thing or should I been a little bit more focused on the place that my feet needed to go. Drive train installation complete. Looks like we ordered all the right sizes and diameters this propeller went on and it came with two bolts here so the second one just really helps to secure it so it doesn't back off and it looks like the set pin fits perfectly um, only thing to do is pull the set screws out and put some loctite on them um, that hold the cutlass bearing in luckily i think Joel has just worked out a few tweaks on the motorcycle. It is up and running again, so he's going to give it a little bit of a tryout here on this gnarly hill. Seems okay. No, if I do get it, I'm gonna try to limp it to that mechanic, babe. The change is bounced off. I think I just need to. Are we back to square one? Um, not quite. I mean, the chain is pretty tight. I, I could, if I went back and got our tools, we just can pull this tighter, but. Did it just bounced right off? It bounced right off. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, we need front, we need suspension. I'm just gonna try to Crap. keep it going. Okay, be careful, take it easy. This hill is no joke. God dang it. It did it again. The chain's broken. 
All right, so obviously that was a major fail. What we're gonna try to do now is just push it to the nearest mechanic. Wish us luck. That was it. The hardest thing I've ever done in my life, but it was pretty bloody close. You think that's a good idea? Yeah. All right. I'm not gonna go very fast. So yeah, you better not. Okay. Bums on a boat. Traffic. Bums on a bike. Take it easy, babe. Focus. Boab! Lola dipped. How come you're so quiet?